Smartphones and technology are ubiquitous in today's society. In my 15 plus years working with students, I've seen how technology can interfere with their focus as well as their sleep. In today's Windward Academy Mindful Moments, we head to Stanford Research Institute for a chat with world-renowned sleep expert, Dr. Fiona Baker, about how smartphones affect sleep in teens, specifically how the blue wavelength affects a person's circadian rhythm. Technological devices are available everywhere. They're mobile. You can, you can have them in your bedroom. You can use it in while you're sitting in the bed. And we do know that research is showing that people who are using um, these devices, especially if it's close to bedtime, then they're tending to get less sleep than, than people who are not. So we know that it is sort of encroaching into sleep. And so there's a, there's a few reasons for that. One is that uh, the light source from those devices is actually affecting the suprachiasmatic nucleus, the timing clock in the brain. And so it does tend to delay it, especially the blue wavelength light. And uh, so that can tend to keep, keep sort of shift the rhythm and keep them staying awake for longer. But probably the bigger effect is it's, it's really hard to disengage um, from the devices. I mean, it's entertainment or it's um, connections with other people, mm -hmm. social connections. And so that's why there's this tendency to keep using the devices rather than switching them off and doing, um, allowing yourself to have some time to sleep. So we would definitely recommend that keep the bedroom clear of things like TVs and rather use those devices in another room and when it gets time for bed leave them alone you know switch them off or turn put them on mute so that they're not going to disturb you do some little preparations before bedtime you do need some downtime you can't expect your body to switch from checking emails and then instantly go to sleep so it would be good to do something relaxing, or even just have a shower, you know, brush your teeth, put your pajamas on, and then get into bed and try to resist you know, doing a final check on messages right before you go to sleep. I hope you have a new appreciation for how smartphones affect sleep. Being mindful can help minimize their impact on your sleep quality.